Hi friends, welcome back to Thinkers IS. Now let's discuss regarding Blue Dot Network. Three countries, USA, Australia and Japan have joined together to establish a trilateral network that is called Blue Dot Network. This network is created to help develop infrastructure in the Indo-Pacific and around the world. The plan was announced on the sidelines of the 35th Asian Summit. Organizations involved in Blue Dot Network initiative are USA's International Development Finance Corporation that is DFC, Japan's Japanese Bank for International Cooperation and Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs and trade. This initiative set the standards for infrastructure projects. Speciality is projects that are approved will get a blue dot thereby setting universal standards of excellence which will attract private capital to projects in developing and emerging economies. It is meant to be a multi-stakeholder initiative that aims to bring governments, the private sector and civil society together to promote high quality, trusted standards for global infrastructure development. As part of this initiative, infrastructure projects will be vetted and approved by the network depending on standards as per which the project should meet certain global infrastructure principles. A question arises that is, is this a counter to China's Belt and Road Initiative? The proposal for the Blue Dot Network is part of USA's Indo-Pacific strategy which is aimed at countering Chinese President Xi Jinping's ambitious BRI. But there is a fundamental difference between BRI and Blue Dot. BRI is involved in direct financing giving countries in need immediate short term relief. But Blue Dot is not a direct financing initiative and therefore may not be what some developing countries need. Blue Dot will require coordination among multiple stakeholders when it comes to grading projects. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe for Thinkers IS for more updates. Thank you.